Top of the evening to you, and welcome to this year's special Celtic worship on St. Patrick's Night as we continue our Lenten journey together. I invite you now to rise for our call to worship. Please join with me responsively. The evening mist rises from the ground to refresh our souls. The birds cease their songs. And in the darkening shadows of night, we come together in prayer. Let us worship the Lord. All praise to God's name. For the joys and blessings of this day, let us worship the Lord. All praise to God's name. For our Savior, Jesus Christ, who brought light to the world, let us worship the Lord. May we walk in God's name. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The darkness in our lives brings us grief and our sins are heavy to bear. Please be seated. Hear what our Savior says. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When Jesus lived on earth, he lived as a human who knew both hardship and despair. Christ knows your need. Come to God now and lay down your burdens and confess those sins of which you are ashamed. Let us join together in prayer. Eternal King and creator of all, in our pride and our weakness, we have failed you and we are truly sorry. We are ashamed that through our own fault we have brought darkness and misery into the world. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and died for us, forgive us our sins. Illumine the dark corners of our lives with your spirit of light and kindle once more the flame of your love in our hearts. Amen. 
eternal God. You have lowered the canopy of night, and its gentle shadows cover us with your peace. May the dews of heaven heal our wounds and wash the tears from our eyes. And may the burning light of Christ banish forever the darkness from our souls, that we may be at peace. Amen. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And now I invite you to join with me responsively in the reading of the 46th Psalm. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The empires totter. God's voice resounds and the earth melts. The God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of God. See what desolations God has brought on the earth. God makes wars cease to the end of the earth. God breaks the bow and shatters the spear. God burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And now hear these words from the 26th chapter of the Gospel of Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Then Jesus, with them, goes to a place called Gethsemane, and he says to the disciples, sit down here while I go over there and pray. And taking Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to feel dejected and full of anguish. He says to them, I'm so sad I could die. You stay here with me and be alert. And he went a little farther, lay face down and prayed. My father, if it is possible, Take this cup away from me, yet it's not what I want that matters, but what you want. And he returns to the disciples and finds them sleeping 
and says to Peter, Couldn't you stay awake with me for one hour? Be alert and pray that you won't be put to the test. Though the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. Again, for a second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for me to avoid this cup without drinking it, your will must prevail. And once again, he came and found them sleeping, since their eyes had grown weary. And leaving them again, he went away and prayed, repeating the same words for a third time. Then he comes to the disciples and says to them, Are you still sleeping and taking a rest? Look, the time is at hand. The son of Adam is being turned over to Gentiles. Get up, let's go. See for yourselves. Here comes the one who is going to turn me in. Here ends our gospel reading for this night. We bind unto ourselves today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three.
garden, Gethsemane. Come with me to pray, Christ said, and they did. Peter, James, and John, Thomas, Andrew, and Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, and James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. Only one of the twelve was missing. The other Judas, Judas Iscariot. There, in the growing darkness, beneath gnarled olive trees, Christ knelt and poured out his heart to his God. If it is your will, Father, please take this cup from me. And they slept. If it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, then your will be done. And they slept. Not my will, but your will, O God. And still they slept. For the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. My soul aches with sorrow. Lord, we are here for you. Stay with me a while. Lord, you know we will. Can you not even stay awake long enough to keep watch with me? But Lord, behold, the hour is at hand. Here is my betrayer now. Lord, we acknowledge the times we have failed you, just as the disciples did so long ago in the garden. As the flames are taken away from these candles, so remove our sins from us. We remember your pain as we snuff out yet more of your light. And now I invite you to join with me responsively in our time of prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And let us together pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Mighty God and heavenly creator, your servant Patrick conquered his fear and tirelessly preached the good news of your kingdom to an alien race. With courage and in the name of Christ, he made friends with his enemies. Give us, we pray, both courage 
and faith. And teach us to look upon all those we meet with love and compassion in our hearts. That through our words and our actions, your kingdom may come on earth and your will be done. We ask this as followers of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now let us join together in saying the prayer of St. Columba. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love that never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. Please rise to receive the benediction. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you, deep peace of the shining stars to you, deep peace of the sun of peace to you. God's blessing be yours, and well may it befall you. Amen.